pretty quick people down here at racket stringing, but surely none as quick as a Formula One world champion, Nico Rosberg. He's had a quick practice go. Lucien, what do you make of the technique at the moment? It's the, the technique uh, calling like la machine à coudre. That's the, the easiest one. And then uh, if we become a, a real stringer, it will probably because he started doing this. So. Oh, Rosberg is absolutely on fire here. What a performance this is turning out to be. Dominic team has the fastest time with 1 minute 14, but this looks absolutely phenomenal. Still got all the speed from 2016. Look at the fingers work. Just beginning to sweat a fraction. Some great instruction here from Lucien. Team has the fastest time with 1.14. We're approaching 50 seconds now. Oh, this is good. Face a picture of concentration. Just trying to make up some time here. Oh, it's amazing. He's done it. Stop the clock. 104.73. Rosberg is still the king of speed. Sensational. Nico, I barely need to check that the competitive juices are still in you. You've beaten Dominic Team there by about 10 seconds. And I even jumped right into the wall from trying to pull it through as fast as possible. <laughs> he's, a, he's a good instructor, Lucien. Uh, I'm sure he gave you some, uh, some good tips along the way. Great to have you here at Wimbledon, and I understand you're, um, you're a proper tennis fan. Yeah, I am. I used to play a lot when I was young uh, in Monaco, even being in the Monaco national team at the time. And um, always been a fan of the sport, love it, love watching. And I still play now in my free time. And today is going to be a great day out there with all the big guys playing. Uh, it's amazing. Men's quarterfinals, a fantastic day to come. And, and how much admiration do you have for the longevity of the likes of Rafa and Roger and Novak? 53 slams, I think, since Roger first won Wimbledon in 2003. Their, their hunger to still be at the top is incredible. Yeah, it's phenomenal. And of course, I can really um, understand what, they're, what they've been going through to be at the top for such a long time. And really huge respect to keep it going like that because it's so intense. Just now I was watching the practice sessions. There was Novak and then Rafa and they're practicing in front of hundreds of people. Like you don't even have a moment where you can just be to yourself and concentrate. You're just out there all the time here. So it's such an intense two weeks here. Um, so no, huge respect. And when you're watching on centre court, uh, it a different kind of pressure to that which you experienced uh, in Formula One. It's, it's, there's a real intensity out there and there's nowhere for them to hide, is there? I, th I think it's the same. Uh, the pressure of, of being at the top of a, of, of a sports and um, when it all comes down to the line and, and things are decided like in one game or in my, in my sports one split second, I think it's a very similar pressure. Here maybe you're a little bit closer to the fans and things like that because we have a helmet and we're out there on our own. But when you're like on a tennis court, you're a little bit more exposed. So that could add another bit more pressure, possibly. But other than that, I think it's pretty similar. And have you got an instinct as to which of the big three might win this year? I mean, it's almost an impossible question, I guess. Uh, just to add back to the first um, to the first question, what al what's also I think a bit worse than tennis is you got the shakes, <laughs> which in my sport if you have the shakes it's not a problem because you're just holding the steering wheel. But if you get the shakes in in tennis and you're holding the racket and you just lose that small edge, oh, that's that's tough. So I think that's another one which adds to more pressure in in the sport. And yeah, top three. I mean, Rafa I think has been playing best so far, which is great. I mean, amazing uh, to see his form now once again on, on grass, which he hasn't had in many years in this, in this manner. That's right. So he's going to be the favourite at the moment, maybe. But wow, we have such exciting games coming. I mean, even the semi-final then, Rafa again, against Roger. Yeah, that would be huge. Possibly is going to be huge. And then the final against Novak, I imagine. Um, great, great tennis. Thank you very much for your time. Have a fabulous day. Thank you.